Morning guys, got another 18 hole practice round vlog coming your way today from Worthington Country Club in Minnesota. This is a tight tree lined course. It's pretty short, but the greens are all back to front. They're all very fast. Um, it was raining yesterday, so it might not be that fast today, but the defense here is the tight tree lined fairways causing you to hit a lot less than driver off most of the tees and then the small, severely sloping and fast greens, which we love. Starting on hole 10 today, par 318 yards, chip pitching wedge, just landed off the back of the green and skipped into this crazy spot. That's literally where my ball came to rest, so I played it. Not a bad shot to give myself a putt, and then this was like 5% downhill. Hit it about 10 feet past. Not a clean first hole, bummer. Second hole, drivable par four, except there's trees left and right. Almost impossible to actually carry onto the green. Mine hit a tree, got smacked down. And then that was just a complete dud of an approach. Didn't judge the rough very well. Chipped it close enough to get away with it and make a five footer for par. Third hole, par five, equally tight fairway, trees left and right. And I found the right rough and then clipped that little tree there, which made me come up about 50 yards short. This is probably the hardest shot in golf, in my opinion, the 50 yard bunker shot. Super thrilled with how I played that one. 10 feet left for birdie, just didn't really read it properly, left it out right. Hole 13, but number four for me, snap hooked that driver, and then luckily had a look at the green from the left rough over the trees. Completely carried the green though, that, that pitching wedge went like 150 to leave me with a really tough chip. Ran away from me big time, and I had like 40 or 50 feet left for par, another sloppy hole. <coughs> Long par three back into the wind. Really no chance of my four iron getting there, but didn't want to hit a hybrid and potentially go over. So I kind of left myself intentionally short here, hitting a bump and run with a 54 degree. Played this one really nicely. Had a lot of left to right swing and judged it to perfection. Three footer for par. Hole 15, hybrid off the tee because of water hazard left that a driver could reach. 150 yards from the right rough with a pitching wedge here. And this was over again. Two pitching wedges from the rough just totally jumped on me. Put myself in the toughest spot I could possibly be there. That chip was not easy. Great job to leave myself five feet for par. But again, that was like a 3% breaker and uh, not the easiest putt. Hole 16, another drivable par four. This was a good drive. Left myself about 30 yards, just short right. Hit a really solid chip here that had to you know, read some rollout and release and I did that well. Left myself a little two footer for birdie. Finally got the round going the right way. Hole 17, another par five, another tight fairway. I feel like I just keep repeating myself. Gutted this one though. Left myself 240-ish with the hybrid. Back into the wind though. Came up a tad short. I thought I hit that a little too hard, which is why I took my hand off. But then the first bounce was a bit soft and played out perfectly. Four feet for birdie. Starting to put a couple good holes together here. Hole 18. Another tight fairway, and I think I lost this one right. Yep, I did. 130 yards, just trying to chip through an unbelievably narrow gap. I hit the gap, but didn't put enough height on it. And then this one just got absolutely matumboed. Left myself another chip. I just keep inching closer and closer. That one was pretty solid. Left myself five feet uphill from bogey. Sloppy front, let's move on to the back. Driver, 350 yards. Fairly solid, but in the left rough, 70 yards with a 54 degree wedge, just a little chip. <coughs> Excuse me, 10 feet for birdie. Nice, dude. Let's go, kid. Let's get this round rolling. Hole two, 173 yards, eight iron, three quarter swing, short left. Decent little chip from the rough. Getting lots of practice today. Four feet for par, thanks. Next hole. Hybrid off the tee because the fairway really narrows. The sun finally came out. I was able to take my jacket off. 132 yards. Tree was not really in my way. If anything, it was the next set of trees that I had to kind of get over. This was an unbelievably fast downhill putt. And so even though I was only 14 feet, I was really just playing defense. Left myself like six feet for par. Glad I made it. This one is kind of drivable, 330 yards, depending on wind direction. Solid drive, but a little short today. 40 yard chip with a 54 degree wedge. Not bad, cause you don't want to go long and left myself 17 feet for birdie. Uh, man, that was close. Good effort, but no cigar. 
Hole five, 426 yards, par four, lost it in the right rough. Another pitching wedge chip from through the trees, but I had a good look at it. So I was able to put that one fairly close and chip it even closer and tap it in for par, moving on. Par five, tight, tight fairway. If you hit a good drive, it's an easier hole. Into the wind today though, so I had to hit like this bunt 245 yard three wood. Did a great job, just pin high right. Another solid bump and run chip. Uh, another tap in. Got this nine going really well. Hole seven, par four, 357 yard driver, tight fairway, 60 yards with a 58 degree wedge. Right on line, but just a little bit short. 12 feet for birdie, straight up the hill. I thought there was break in it, there wasn't, and I hit that too hard. Par, hole eight, 167 yard, eight iron. Pretty solid swing, just over the top of the flag. 18 feet for birdie, I hit this too hard, and it was a double breaker. Thankfully, it hit the center of the cup. Count it. Celeb shot from my boy Kyle Karazisis. Back to me. Hybrid, 402 yards. This is a dog leg right and a tight fairway with a bunch of trees. Put it right in the middle, 111 yard, 54 degree wedge. So pure, love that swing. Five feet for birdie. Nice finish, kid. Way to come back. A crappy start to that round. Actually shot one under when it was all said and done. Thanks for watching. Bye, like and subscribe. Follow for more. Tell your mom and your grandma. Peace.